So um, the, the normal distribution is, uh, if you learn this, if you never learned this before, this is a bell-shaped distribution and it has mean, mu, and uh, 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 standard deviation, okay? So uh, let's get back to this and uh, spider. <coughs> so if I want to if I want to generate the normal distribution, uh, the, the random numbers from the normal distribution when mean is 1 and uh, standard deviation is 2, uh, you can do this. And every time you generate, you enter the same input, you generate different things. Okay. Size is to say you generate a 2x2 uh, two two matrix, 2x2 two two array. And if you want to save it, to the save the these um, numbers, the randomly generated numbers to a txt file. You can do mp .save txt somewhere. You can enter the path for example c uh, username like like then then a out txt. Now this is to a pet. Okay, um, b is mp. I'm sorry, this is not a pen. This is uh, to say to save uh, a into this txt. And you can also uh, load this txt file, files, uh, the, the numbers in this file to B. Okay. Um, say you can save this number. <coughs> I, for example, I, uh, I can create a, or this is from a different distribution, but I can never replicate the, these, this one because uh, I can never replicate this one because uh, it's a random number. Let me just... Uh, then I can calculate the sum and I can also calculate the column sum. Okay. <clears throat> because A is this, so the column sum will be this time plus this equals this and uh, um, uh, this is a cumulative sum okay and um, I think that this is a this is a mistake there there shouldn't be the end here it should be I mistyped this and um, and uh, let me see if I can yes okay and uh, come some Next is B. We'll have this. Um, this is the cumulative row sum. Okay. This is to calculate the cumulative sum for each row. So uh, this number is this plus this. And this number is this plus this plus this. And this number is just this one, and this number is this, this, this plus this, and this number is the sum of these three. Okay, you can also calculate the mean and the max. The mean is uh, the mean of all the elements, while the max is the is uh, um, column max. So the the greater one, this is greater than this. So we have a one point. We have this number, and this is smaller than this. So we have the first number of this here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Array creation methods. Um, actually, we we have talked a bit about this. Um, the, the only difference is that uh, we use the a dot sum. We can also we use a dot sum. We can also use uh, mp dot sum. Okay, it, it gives you the same thing. Um, for example, mp. Let's let me uh, let me do this. So a dot sum. We have this. We can also do mp dot sum. A. We will have exactly the same thing. Okay. So this is to apply a function on A, and this is to use A's. A's a realization of a class. We will talk about that much later. But uh, sum is a method of A, and uh, to 
to calculate the is is to calculate the, the sum of a uh, for each uh, for each column. Okay. Product. <coughs> you can also calculate the product along columns. Um, So this times this, you get this, and uh, this multiplied by this, and you get this, the product. And you can also use a functional form to do to achieve the same goal, and you got the same thing here. The only difference is that this is using a method, and this is use a uh, uh, numpy function. And this is uh, to calculate the column mean. Uh, <coughs> now this is ca to calculate the mean because uh, it only has one. It, it only has a row. Okay, so it's not a column mean. Uh, what about Then this is to calculate the uh, column mean. Okay, if you only have one dimension, then the 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 mean will 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 give you the will give you the the element wise mean, just like this. Okay, so they two will give you the same thing. <clears throat> um, um, the argument will give you the index of the minimum value. For example, here uh, you want to know where the minimum value appears. Uh, is it the first element, the second element, or the third element? If you want to know that, you can do using the argument and uh, the actuality. Okay. You don't need this because it's just the, like the first. It's just like the first, um, the, the, the one dimension array. You can also use a functional form. I don't, I don't think you need that axis. So, yeah, yeah. because it's just one dimension. Um, similarly, you can use the argmax and the be the argmax using the functional form or the, or the method of A. Statistics array methods. <coughs> you can also calculate the mean average. Uh, mean and average, they are actually the same for pi, for, for numpy. Um, say, let me just do define it as this. And uh, if I want to calculate the column mean, I can use the axis. Okay, this is column mean. That is the mean between this and this. So this plus this divided by two is this. This plus this divided by two is this. Okay, then p dot averages. Okay, so they are the same. Average can also calculate the weighted average. Um, this is very interesting. Uh, so you just need to add a parameter here. Uh, remember that in the future, if you are required to calculate the weighted average of uh, cost of capital, uh, if you learn corporate finance and you know uh, you need to calculate the WACC and you know uh, how to add the weights if you are using Python to calculate them. Uh, for example, this this will be. Uh, the weight of this is one, and the weight of this is two. Okay, so basically, is this uh, times one third plus this times two thirds? Okay, let me just try. <coughs> one third plus. Similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, 
standard deviation. You can also calculate the standard deviation of uh, uh, the column standard deviation. Okay. Then you're calculating the standard deviation between this and this, this and this, and this and this. And you can also calculate the variance. Variance is uh, similar to standard deviation. It's just the square of standard deviation, not uh, forming this here. Okay. Other array methods. Um, um, you can also use a clip. Clip is to uh, set the clip is a little bit. Not sure if you ever heard of this wings arise, wings arise, uh, wings arise. So wings arisation is a method to get rid of the extreme values. Uh, for example, if you have a sample that has very extreme values, like if you have um, a bunch of stock price, um, maybe not stock price, PE ratios. Okay, I'm not sure if you learned PE ratios before, but uh, price earnings ratio. Some some companies price earnings ratio can be huge because their earnings is very very low their earnings can be very close to zero so the price uh, stock price divided by the earnings can be very huge so uh, this small number of firms but m most of the firms uh, the traditional firms uh, PE ratio should be around between uh, 10 to 30 and the average should be in the North American market should be 15 but sometimes you see some PE ratio as 200 um, so when you're doing the analysis, you want to, for example, you want to you want to see the relationship between P ratio and uh, some other uh, corporate indicators like in the innovation and uh, the bankruptcy risk, risk. This analysis, and you want to uh, you want to test the relationship between the two variables. But you find like some of the observations of the P ratio can be really really huge. Um, so in that case, you want to get rid of them. So how do you get rid of them? You clip, and for example, the wing surprise is that you set all the you, you first find out the one percent of the one percent. Um, so you 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 first sort all the p ratios from the smallest to the largest. Then you find the one percent the largest, and you get the threshold, and you find the one percent the smallest, and you get the thresholds. So one way is to trim the sample. That is to get rid of all the uh, extreme values. The other way is to set the extreme values at the threshold value. For example, it's kind of like this. If you have uh, MP dot array like this, and you want to clip 3, 5, that is to set all the values below 3 to 3, and set all the values above 5 to 5. So you clip the whole uh, sample to between 3 and 5. Let me, uh, so uh, 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 wing sorization could be very similar to something like this. Okay. And do you make the extreme values as a threshold? Round, okay, you can round it. Uh, round is different than floor or sale. We, we learned that sale is giving you the smallest integer that is greater than the number that you're given. Uh, you're, you're giving and uh, floor is to return the largest integer that is smaller than the number that you give. Uh, here we use round. Round is uh, you probably are very familiar with rounding. That is, if um, if I think this could be wrong, it should be three, right? Um, no. Oh, NumPy rounds to even. This is uh, this is something that I don't even remember. So it can be very tricky. It can be very tricky. Okay, a round. Okay, so they round to even. That means uh, if you have two point five and one point five, they both round to two. But if you want to have, but if you have uh, three point five and the zero point five, they should round to. Th Four and zero, I guess. Yeah, four and zero. So this is a pretty strange way of rounding. Um, 
You can also round it to the first decimal place. That is, you round to the first decimal, not, uh, not the integer. Right? You can also round it to the second or the third in decimals. Um, here is a point to point. Okay. You, uh, um, you still have this A as a note. This one and a dot pdp will give you uh, wait it's uh, oh yeah uh, yes so it's a uh, 2.5 minus uh, 1.35 base yeah, so so PDP is actually so what what is this? Uh, huh. Oh, I see. So this this point to point is uh, is is corresponding to uh, to this 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 one. So so uh, it's uh, it's calculating the min max range. So basically, it's calculating the range the range for each column. And this is one four, so four minus one is three, five minus two is three, and six minus three is three. Uh, here I have uh, I have the this array, this one dimensional array, and the the range of this array using the point to uh, point to point is the largest to minus the smallest. Basically, it's equal to a a dot max. For instance, is minus a dot min. Princesses. Okay. Um, this is a summary of most array attributes, and uh, this is a basic attributes. A dot D type, A dot shape, uh, size. This is something that we learned. Before and there were other things that we didn't uh, perform. I, I, I didn't perform like like step by step, but I hope that you all of you can just uh, practice by yourself. And also this uh, copy we learned copy we learned fill we learned to list to string and uh, not this. Okay, this is to convert the byte order uh, because I think it's uh, I don't think it's very important. So. I in this uh, conjugate, uh, we didn't learn this, uh, but it, you should practice by yourself. And also, uh, uh, yeah, we learned clip, round, come some, come uh, product, but not this. Uh, the sort could be pretty useful. You should practice by yourself. And um, hey, for each one, like I, I probably only spend like ten seconds to go over it, but uh, you probably want to use ten minutes. Okay. To practice one by one, um, um, the, um, and uh, also we talked uh, for this. We talked about the sum product, uh, min max, the index of min max, and the range, and the min or you can also use the eta average, uh, standard deviation, uh, variance. Okay, uh, we also learned the random things. Um, Okay, this is a kind of summary, and um, this kind of summary of, uh, well, I probably should put it here. Yes, I should put it here. So this is the operator single array math, and uh, then we have some sum summary of the, of the, the array methods. Okay, next we will talk about matplotlib. I'll see you next week.